Paul Lawson. I'm Chris Gervich. I have the privilege of serving as the President and Chief Executive Officer here at Children's. And uh, it's my distinct pleasure uh, to welcome you here this afternoon uh, to announce, to celebrate uh, what is truly a transformational and far-reaching re far across generations gift for kids and families that trust us with that most sacred of trust, their health care. Uh, as many of you know, this is our 100th birthday, founded in 1913, not too far from here at the corner of Maple and Oak Lawn, on the corner of what we today know as uh, Old Parkland. And we've celebrated so many firsts throughout the course of this year. It really is a distinct privilege for us to announce this first today, and that is that we are the beneficiary at Children's Medical Center, uh, courtesy of the vision, the compassion, the stewardship, the confidence and the investment of the Reese Jones Foundation, and we're joined today by Jan and Trevor and their president, Steve Hardy, and the staff of the Reese Jones Foundation. They have uh, very generously contributed to us $18.9 million. This uh, $18.9 million joins a previous gift of $1 million, and it funds the Reese Jones Center for Foster Care Excellence at Children's Medical Center. Uh, this is the largest contribution by a living donor, don't get me ideas, <laughs> in the 100 year history of children. And what a distinct privilege. Center is to further the health, development, well-being, assimilation, education regarding and advocacy about kids who are in foster care. We have a couple of foster care parents with us here today who know uh, more importantly and more precisely than any of us in this room the enormous gift that they receive when they take these kids into their lives and it is our honor to work with you, to work for you, uh, when you allow us to participate with you in the care of these children. The mission, uh, as we said, is for kids today. It is for kids next year. It is for kids in the next generation and generations that follow. Because through the leadership of folks that we'll be hearing from in just a few minutes, we not only have the opportunity to take care of these kids today, who are visited by a multiple of comorbidities, illness, and injuries of a normal child, but we can take care of these kids today, we can give them their chance to fulfill their promise, their potential, that they can go out, become parents themselves, and in turn, their children, beget children, beget children. The second way that this generosity cuts across generations is through the work that Dr. Partab and her team do. They're training the next generation of physicians. They're training the next generation of nurses, social workers, health care providers that enjoy that circle of taking care of these children in a multidisciplinary way so that their social needs, their clinical needs, their educational needs, are all fulfilled, they're all met, and these kids have a chance to go on and be the best that they can be. We've been doing this at Children's for more than 20 years. We've been doing this at Children's, taking care of foster children for 20 years of our 100 year history. We do that in Region 3, which is our colleagues from uh, the good folks who help us with these children will tell you uh, we have 6,000 kids in our region that are in foster care. Uh, today, uh, we touch almost one in six, and we will be able to, to, to touch, by our estimate, at least three in six who need it by virtue of this gift. 
and we think that there's potential even beyond that. Right now, we serve these children and families 2,500 times a year so that they can have a chance to get back to normal or to get to that normal. This enables us to bring together experts in pediatrics, developmental pediatrics, child welfare, um, our colleagues from the state, and our colleagues from the court appointed special advocates. Did I do that right, Gina? Casa. That's what we call them, Casa, for their children. The point being that this holistic, multidisciplinary approach is going to have huge, far reaching implications, not just for us and the kids that we take care of today, but for succeeding generations of children. We'll do this through three foster care clinics. We'll do this through our academic partnership with UT Southwestern and other healthcare professionally trained uh, organizations, colleges, universities from both uh, locally as well as across the country. And every step that we take, every diagnosis, every treatment that we participate in will add to the font of knowledge about what we know about children visited by foster care and it will enable us to provide more precise, more compassionate, more innovative care for each kid and family. I have a few uh, other remarks that I'd like to say, but for now I'd like to uh, stop for a moment. And it is my uh, distinct privilege to introduce uh, a good friend of the kids in this community who is fulfilling the vision of Jan and Trevor in his uh, presidency of the Reese Jones Foundation. So Trevor, I'd like to turn the podium over to you. Thanks very much. It's, uh, it's an exciting day for us. We don't get to do this very often. And, uh, I'm really pleased to be here on behalf of Jan and Trevor and really all of our staff who are here today. Uh, we thank you for uh, hosting this, for having this uh, ceremony, and really for the work that's about to begin. It really has already begun, but it's about to be uh, even expanded as we move forward. Um, I first came here about four years ago to just take a site tour of uh, the Clinic for At-Risk Children, which included uh, at that time foster care kids. Uh, at that time, I met uh, Anu Partap for the first time, I think. She'd been here just a few months. Uh, we took a tour. We looked at what was going on there. We knew that we as a foundation had interest in child welfare and particularly children that uh, had come from situations of abuse and neglect um, that you often find with, with children in foster care. And so we sat down with some of the staff here and, and had a lesson or two from them on what they were doing. It was very easy to catch Dr. Partap's enthusiasm, her commitment, her passion for what she was doing, uh, her warmth, her smile. All of that was immediate. And so we, we caught it really pretty quickly then. Uh, we came back on a number of occasions of and ultimately wound up making a grant to the foster care clinic to uh, really finance a pilot project along the same lines that we're now here to talk about. And that project is ongoing. And in the course of that project, we discovered some other things about Dr. Tar uh, Partap, uh, including uh, uh, determination, a very tough spirit, a, willing to, a willingness to do whatever it takes for the benefit of these children. And we can see that determination and that uh, persistence and that uh, real interest in doing that. Her, her team was built, she had the vision. Children's Medical had the vision and the long-standing support of this kind of program. So that all led us to really where we are today. As Chris mentioned, uh, the opportunity to triple the number of kids seen in uh, uh, foster care, in the foster care clinic, uh, to provide a medical home for these kids, to provide an integrated health care model that will take everything from routine uh, 
illnesses to the most complex physical and mental uh, and behavioral issues. And that's something that really captured our attention and we became very interested in that. And so even though, uh, even though we had a grant outstanding and a project working with the foster care clinic, uh, we came to conclude that the time was right now to expand this. We did that, why? Mainly because this is really serious work and the kids need this, uh, this work. They can't wait. And so we are uh, very excited to be part of the expansion of this and, and very pleased with what you've already done, uh, what the hospital has already done, what, um, what CPS has already done, and very importantly, we can't lose sight of this, what the heroes on the front row here have done and continue to do. Thank you so much for what you do for the kids uh, that you take care of. So it is really our pleasure to be here. Um, we're just very excited to be part of it. Uh, we look forward to a long-standing relationship uh, with the hospital and with the clinic, and we look forward to more things uh, coming as, as, uh, as we go along. So congratulations uh, on this grant, and uh, uh, thank you for all you do, for all, all of you do, for the uh, foster kids in our community. It's uh, really a distinct privilege for me to introduce to you uh, the person who is the tireless voice, who is uh, indefatigable. How's that? <laughs> uh, but Dr. Anu Partav, uh, with Dr. Flores' uh, mentorship, has uh, served as clinical director for the Children's Foster Care Clinic, and I am so pleased to announce today that she will become the director of the Reese Jones Center for Foster Care Excellence, and she is also an assistant professor in uh, pediatrics uh, for UT Southwestern. Uh, she clearly is uh, the woman of the hour for these kids and families, and uh, it's my distinct privilege to introduce Dr. Anu Parta. allowed us to fulfill our dream to launch the state's first center dedicated to the health, health care, and future outcomes of children in foster care. For the over 6,000 children in DFW area and 19 counties surrounding us, and the 17,000 victims of child abuse and neglect who enter foster care every year, this gift to us is really your gift to them. Thank you. Thank you. enter foster care. That's about one child every 30 minutes. Their circumstances are particularly devastating and potentially harmful compared to other children. Over half struggle with chronic medical conditions while they're trying to make sense of really scary and traumatic childhood. For them, foster care is a chance to feel safe, to recover, find their true potential that's buried under the chaos of abuse and neglect. The center is for them. For 20 years, our foster care clinic team has listened to thousands of foster families share stories of suffering, courage, healing, and love. And no two stories are alike, but every story has been inspiring. We saw that children needed a health care system that supports them, treats their special health care needs quickly, puts them on a path of recovery, and collaborates with people. Our families called on us to do more for kids who enter our doors, receive more children from further away, and make sure that all children, no matter what town they live in, receive the best possible health care to get their childhood back on track. Establishing the Reese Jones Center for Foster Care Excellence at Children's Medical Center allows us to answer that call. It's a privilege to be a part of Children's Medical Center and UT Southwestern, where Mr. Durovich, our CEO, Dr. Julio Perez Fontan, our Chairman of Pediatrics, and Dr. Glenn Flores, our Division Director of General Pediatrics, 
saw that opening this center was simply the right thing to do. We could not have pursued such a bold vision without support of CPS Assistant Commissioner Audrey Dekinga and her team. Thank you to all of them. Emerging science has uncovered that emotional trauma can affect our kids in ways we hadn't imagined. Not just emotionally, but it puts them at higher risk for heart disease, obesity, and even asthma. Science has also revealed that early intervention can be life-saving. The center brings you latest findings and national foster care health standards into daily practice in North Texas through these three core areas, clinical, research, and community development. First, the center will roll out three state-of-the-art foster care health centers where child welfare, health care, and mental health teams will work side-by-side -side to provide comprehensive care for the complex medical and recovery needs of thousands of DFW families. Second, the center expands our research and academic programs to identify effective interventions and emerging health priorities while also preparing future practitioners to meet the needs of children in foster care. Third, the center reflects children's long-standing commitment to community health, through its broad education and advocacy activities in partnership with caregivers, CASAs, and other advocates to promote best practices to our state's most vulnerable children, no matter where they're being served. When our children in foster care are having rough days or dark days, we hope the center reminds families we are here for them, we believe in them, and we believe in the endless possibilities that await them. Hippocrates, the father of Western medicine, said where there's love for mankind, there's love for the art of healing. Here we are, over 2,000 years later, keeping that tradition, tremendously grateful to the Stone Foundation for the opportunity to establish the center and shape how children in foster care heal so they can lead healthy, fulfilling lives. Thank you all. As I said earlier, the work that we do, we do in conjunction with the Court Appointed Special Advocates, or CASA. We also do in conjunction with the Texas Child Protective Services, and we are so delighted today, we're so honored to have uh, Audrey DeKinga uh, with us, who's the Assistant Commissioner for Texas Child Protective Services in the Department of Family and Protective Services. Uh, I know that she wants to share as well what this means to kids in the foster care program. Audrey. I am truly honored to be here. Um, I am so pleased that Reese Jones has seen foster care and the children in foster care as one of their priorities, and, and we thank you so much for that. Uh, your gift will do an enormous amount of good, as, as is the theme today, not only with this generation, but all succeeding generations. So it is, it is my pleasure to be here, and also to thank uh, Children's Medical Hospital. Uh, you have come such a long way, and you've always done such a good job with our kids. So uh, thank you so much. We are very proud, CPS is very proud, to, to partner with uh, Dr. Fartap and Children's Medical Center on this initiative. And we absolutely firmly believe that um, this will be, the, there will be wonderful outcomes that come from this initiative. Not only the health improvement, but also the well-being and getting children stabilized in their placements and making sure that foster parents and caseworkers know how to wrap services around them when they know how to, how to treat the children. So thank you. Thank you for putting this together. You are a visionary, Dr. Proyas. Um, and we are so appreciative that you use the vision for children in foster care. You do have, I don't know if I can say it as that. Oh, well, maybe I did. Fabulous <laughs> energy, and you have drawn us all into your vision. And we are all very grateful to you. There may be 6,000.
house the children in Region 3, which is the Dallas-Fort Worth area, in foster care. But statewide, at any given time, we have 30,000. Mm -hmm. And these children, by definition, have been abused or neglected. So they come to us with a lot of trauma. Sometimes it's physical trauma, but it's always emotional trauma. And I am so appreciative that the vision for this these clinics is to treat the whole person and to make sure that not only are their physical needs met, but how do we meet all the other needs that this child has. I am so appreciative of all the um, specialties that will be um, looked at here, that will look not only at physical, but developmental disabilities, that will look at the trauma. Dr. Karjap has been a wonderful collaborator with CPS on this. She has asked us what do we need. She has written it in to her proposal. We will have liaisons, and we really will be uh, a more effective child protective services system for the children that come through. State government and federal government can't do it alone. We can't. We need the vision of people like Dr. Partak. We need the funding of foundations. We need our advocates and all the wonderful stakeholders. I love Dallas. Y'all know how to collaborate. You do a great job. Um, I, know, I know almost all the stakeholders here because they make themselves known to us. And they do advocate for us. And we are very appreciative of the entire community, with everybody represented here, coming together for children who are so often forgotten or not cared for. Now my vision for this is to not only see this project get off the ground here in Dallas and the surrounding counties, but let's see it going statewide. Let's see what we can learn here Let's have the next generation of doctors ready to go out all over the state of Texas to replicate this vision and improve the outcomes for children in foster care. And then, as Texas goes, so does the nation. And we're going to do this nationally. Thank you all. such a distinct privilege to get to do what we do here. Uh, and we are so honored to have the Reese Jones Center for Excellence in Foster Care as part of who we are and what we do. And I would offer that there will not be a day, alone a moment, that passes. We won't think of the two of you and you and your team, T, at the foundation when we enjoy the privilege that's been entrusted to us by these parents family and by our colleagues. Dr. Partab, we thank you for the vision. To our colleagues from CPS, we thank you for the partnership. To CASA, we thank you for the partnership. But foremost, uh, we thank you for giving us the chance to do what we love to do, what we strive to do, to leave a mark upon these children and families 
and to do that not only today, but in the days and weeks and years and decades to come. And in that context, I would like to present you with a small token of our appreciation. If you would like to come forward, please. And T, if you would join us. I will read this for the benefit of the people still standing in the back of the room. See, that's <laughs> good. Maybe you understood. I knew that was people have. Uh, Children's Medical Center and Children's Medical Center Foundation express our profound gratitude to Jan and Trevor Reese Jones and the Reese Jones Foundation for their transformative gift to establish the Reese Jones Center for Foster Care Excellence at Children's Medical Center, which will improve the health of children in foster care and advance health care quality, accessibility, and community capacity to meet the needs of the most vulnerable children. Now, given this day, December 2nd, 2003, in Dallas, Texas, uh, signed by Dr. Partap, signed by Dr. Wilmenthal, the president of our foundation, and myself. Thank you. Thank you.